Coffee. Coffee. Oh, give me a sip. Hey, that's good. Good. Hey, hey, hey. Better hurry, you're gonna be late. Okay. Oh. oh, Jesus. That was fucking awesome. It's like, I can not hold it. I mean, it was gonna come out no matter what. Fuck. Damn, I'm good. Uh-huh, you know you're good, don't you? Well, when you like doing something, you just wind up getting good at it. Get up, I'm a hot fuck. <laughs> Get off me. <laughs> oh. God, what time is it? 7.30 a.m.? I didn't think 7.30 in the morning existed. That was like a myth or something. <sighs> I'd really love to see you again. Hmm. Well, I gots to get dressed. And I gots to go. What? Well, I got somewhere I gotta be. Um, early meeting? Yeah, that'll do. Um, well, you're gonna call me, right? Why? Well, if you wanted to, well, you know, like... I want to see you later. I'll find you online. You'll be there. Do you even remember my name? Of course I do. It was, uh, Hot Twink Bottom, right? No, not on the computer. I mean, my real name. My real name is Morgan. Oh. Okay. Later. It's next to your briefcase, babe. Thanks. Anybody there? Hey, look, is anybody in here? What are you doing today? Uh, the view, and then Charlie's coming over, and then I'm gonna hang out with Gordy for a little bit, and then Judge Judy. Should I go on? Such a busy man. Uh, I'll be needing some more of those pens, if you don't mind swinging by Office Max. I've used up the last of those. Uh, not like the ones that, uh, the office. I know, I know. Not ballpoint, but flare tips and black, not blue. Yes, and can you do that during your judge duty? <laughs> Very funny. No, I can't. I'll do that during Dr. Phil. <laughs> Thanks. I'll, uh, I'll see you at noon. Okay. Ben, can you look at me for a second? Have a good day. I've left some money for you on the kitchen counter, in case you need any. If you need anything else, just call me on my cell. Okay. I love you. I love you too. You mind if I check in my email? My computer sucks ass. Yeah, sure, come on. Thanks, girl. Where's Daddy? He's at work. Mm -hmm. Where she belongs, right. right? Oh, hey, guess what? What? I got that new laptop. Oh, bitch, you're shitting me. Is it the one you wanted? Of course. Whore. How much did it cost? Uh, four fucks, three blowjobs, two rim jobs, and... Partridge in a pear tree. Right, mm-hmm. I get your old one, don't I? Oh, fuck you. You know I got way too much porn on that. Oh, God, exactly. All right, look. You can use it this time, but I want you to wipe off the keyboard because I want to hear the keys crunch again when I press them. No worries, trash. I have my one-handing typing system down like a pro. Sticky one never touches. Rosario, get that, would you? Thank you.
Hey! <laughs> Here you go. Oh, thanks. The, which ones are these? Uh, Lords of Acid and the two Sarahs. Who's that? It's Charlie. Wait, do you know Charlie? I don't think so. Come here. Oh my god, guess what? Ho, Gordy, Gordy, ho. Hi. Hi, I'm Charlie. You know, you look familiar. Have we met before? No, I don't think so. Mutual friend or something. Anyways, check this out. Are you invited? Private sex party tonight, 10 p.m. till question mark. Above average, hot guys only, height and weight proportionate only. Addresses will be sent via email at 9.30 p.m. PMP friendly. $10 donation at the door. Wanna go? Are you going? Hell yeah! You know, I think I've been to one of their parties before. Total booty buffet. Hey, what about you know who? Hello? Excuse me? Do you know my life? My deep and intense conversations and negotiations that the two of us have had in the strictest of confidence. Are you in my shoes? Do you have my morals? Or lack thereof. Precisely. You don't know. And like I always say, if it was your business, you would know. So don't worry about me, baby. So, who's Helen? Uh, that's his girlfriend, Helen Bed. She performs down at the cockpit. Oh, hey, by the way, has she gotten the chop yet? No, but she's still thinking about it. What a waste. I know, she's gonna have such a deep vagina. Yeah. Well, anyway, she's performing tonight at the club, so I'm a free bird. What she don't know can't hurt me. So, do you wanna go? Yeah, why not? I don't have any other plans. But, you know what? You cannot watch me have sex. You gotta stay on the opposite side of the room. Oh, uh, well, I was just gonna walk up to you in the middle of something nasty, look at you, say, a girl. Yeah, you do that, and I'll make a farting sound while you're fucking someone. Hello? Hey, Mondo, what's up? Okay, fine. I'll stay away from your nakedness. Yeah. Yeah, Charlie's here too. He just got the email. I know. Are you gonna go? Really? Well, what about Jason? So, you're going to the party and, and you're gonna cheat on your boyfriend? Okay, now, let's define cheating. Sleeping with someone while being in a relationship with someone else. Okay, have you ever heard about that theory about the tree falling in the woods and if there's no one around to hear it, how do you know it made a sound? So as long as nobody says anything, it didn't happen. Cool. Okay. Well, how do you want to do this then? Alright. Okay, we'll see you then. Alright, later. Okay. Mondo and Jason are coming. Jason's coming? Mm -hmm. Oh my god. How long have those two been together? I don't know, like six months. Damn, and they're already open? Mm -hmm. See, that's the kind of relationship I need to have. <laughs> See, I got my in-house mangina and I got my out-house fuck buddy. Throw in a bathhouse membership and a wet bar, baby, I'm yours. <laughs> so do you want to go? Yeah, right. I don't think so. Oh, are you seeing someone? No, he's not. Shut up. Ooh, sounds like some juicy drama. Spill. Um, if it was your business, you'd know. Bitch. I like her. What's our drama? I'll slap you, Ben. Is he fucking around on you, Gordo? It's Gordy. Look, Gordo, just dump him and get out of your misery. Let him go. Let it flow. When the plane gets too heavy, let loose some baggage. Dude, just tell him. I don't want to talk about it. You never do. Look, his boyfriend dumped him so he could fuck around. Fuck you, Ben. That's not why. We're taking a break. It's not for him to fuck around. You deserve better than that, Gordy. You're shitting me. She's out getting her some fresh boonay. Shut the hell up. That's not why. Ben, stop it. I'm not playing with you. Oh, someone in this room is digmatized. No, I'm not. Look, sometimes people need space. I was being too clingy. I, I was suffocating him and he was gentleman enough to tell me so. He's not doing it to fuck around. He'll come back when he's had his space. Oh, I can just see it now. Oh, leave him alone, Charlie. Oh, hi, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, I miss you so much when my dick is deep in this boy's ass. <laughs> oh, oh, can I come by after I, after I blow my load all over his hair? Oh, I love you. I mean it. Bye. Oh, now take it, bitch. Yeah. That's enough. It's not funny. <laughs> ben! <laughs> He's not doing it to fuck around. He just said he needed some space, and I can understand that. I admire him for that. That's how, that's how mature he is. He loves me that much. Nothing else is going on. Nothing at all. He's not a good person, Gordy. Well, I'm sorry if love is supposed to be someone taking care of me financially, Ben. You know, I thought it had a little to do with actual emotions. 
And I thought love was not going to trashy, disease-filled sex parties with boys that are into PNP behind my boyfriend's back. And if that is love, I think I'd rather rot in loneliness. Enjoy the CDs, Ben. Wow. Clutch the pearls. No, no, no. He's cool. He's... He's just nuts about that guy. But what can you do? Get laid at a PMP sex party. <laughs> That's what. Oh, did you read this part here? No. Oh, great. Well, I'm going to the gym. Oh, I've got to go work out too. I am getting so fat. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, I'm not going to go lift weights. I'm just going to go and put holes in the shower curtains. Get out of here. <laughs> Later. <laughs> Honey? I'll be right there. How's work today so far? Busy. Uh, I won't be home until later tonight. I've got a client that uh, wants me to check out her dining room, and she's not available until after okay. work. Okay, there you go. You should enjoy that. It's chicken, and there's uh, fried rice and an egg roll. And I want you to eat every bit of that because I've been slaving on it in the kitchen all day. Take out? Yeah. <laughs> you didn't get anything for yourself? Oh, I'm not hungry. You had all the chips, didn't you? Well, they were half the fat. Yeah, I'll make you have to worry about your weight. Any plans for tonight? Yeah, I was uh, thinking about going to a party with Charlie and some other guys. Hmm, that's good. Uh, you need anything? No, nah, I'm fine. Okay, I hope you have a good time. Thanks. Oh, you know what? I forgot your drink. Hang on one second. This way, the chances are better that only hot guys will be there. That's true. What are you guys talking about? There's a screening process. We have to send them a picture of us and they send an invite to the ones that make the cut. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so now what? Um, take pictures. You have a digital camera, right? Oh, no, hang on a second. Okay. Baby, are you okay? Are you nervous? Just a little. <laughs> I'll be fine. Baby, we don't have to do this. Just say so and we won't. So Ben's gonna see you naked? <laughs> hey, I told you we messed around a couple times when we first met. Way before you. I didn't know, mean... I know. You just messed around a bit, nothing more. That's right. So he's already seen me naked, okay? I mean, unless you want to take the picture, we can have Ben wait in the other room. No. We're about to go to a party, right? <laughs> There's gonna be more than that going on. I might as well warm up to it. <laughs> That's true. You know, if you get uncomfortable tonight, just tell me. I know. Just take care of me, okay? I will, baby. Okay, let's do it. Great. I'm first. Uh, okay. <laughs> I guess just stand over there. Yeah, right, no, Come on, just shut up. <laughs> there you go. Can you hold this for me, babe? Thanks. Okay, okay now wait until I say snap, all right? Uh-huh. Okay. <sighs> snap. All right, we got it. Cool. All right, who's next? Baby, you go. Me? Yeah, I don't, I don't know what to do. You go. You just take the picture. It's fine. No, no Wanda, I don't think I'm going to just stand there and talk. Look, I've already seen your ass, so you can be first. Come on. Right there. <laughs> Come on, no. <sighs> what do you want me to do? Well, the email says a full body nude pic. So I guess the first thing to do is get naked.
Look, if you're uncomfortable, Jason, I can turn around. Now what? Okay. Um, turn this way a little more. Okay, we'll get the best lighting to be that way. All right, now, when I tell you to, I want you to take a really deep breath in and then let the air out really slow. What does that do? Well, it's gonna make your abs look really tight. Trust me, with the light showing your abs tight, everybody's gonna watch you. Oh, cool. 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 Okay. All right, you ready? All right, deep breath in. Okay, let it out. Keep going. Keep going. Baby, just 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 move your hands. Okay, stop. Stop. Um Yeah. Um you just look really nervous. Down there. I mean, I mean, I can see that you're above average, but they're gonna think that you've got a really. Look, can you just um, can you just play with it a little bit? You want me to make him hard? No, not not hard, but just, you know, a little more. Showy. Armando, do you mind if I help him? Sure. Baby, is that okay? You don't mind, do you, Jason? There we go. That's a little better. Okay, one, two, three. Ooh, did I walk into some Sean Cody or something? Hi, Mondo. How are you? Hey, baby. How you doing? Mm -hmm. What's up, ho? Sugar, baby. Oh, hot boys everywhere. Can't believe y'all got started without me. Hi, I'm Charlie. You must be Mondo's latest victim. Ooh, flavor of the month. Hi, nothing is going on. We're just taking pictures. Yeah, mm-hmm. What for? Well, the party has a screening process, remember? And you're next. Oh, don't worry about me. They already got my picture on file. Anyways, I have to get to the shower. I just got back from the gym. Or correction, I just got back from some hot boy's house that I met at the gym. I still have that faint smell of afterglow on me. I'll be right back. Slut. Thank you. Can I hang out with you guys? I don't want to be at home by myself. Phone call? Why not? So, you thought that was hot? Been making me hard? Why? Did you not? Answer my question. You're not answering mine either. Did you not? I asked first. Yeah. I thought it was kind of hot. Me too. Are you lying to me, baby? No, I thought it was hot. 
We've been talking about playing with other guys for a while now. I thought we were cool. Are you getting cold feet? I, I mean, if you are, that's fine. We don't have to do this. We'll only do what we're both comfortable with. Hey, I told you I'd take care of you, right? Yeah. And I will. I promise. Do you, do you want to go home? I mean, we can go home. We can make up a story to tell Ben. We can go home and get some ice cream, watch your favorite Three's Company box set <laughs> one right after another, and just veg out. You don't want to do that? No, I don't, but... But I will for you. No. I'm cool. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm just a little nervous, that's all. So am I. Just remember that no matter where we are at the party, we'll find each other and, 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 and we'll, we'll, we'll wink. <laughs> My wink will mean that I'm thinking about you and that I can't wait for it to be over, so it's just you and I again. And What about you? My wink will mean your arms around me would feel much better than whatever I'm doing. <laughs> now let me finish sucking this boy's cock. <laughs> <laughs> Who's joining us? Hi, is that okay? Hey, Gordy. Hey. Who's out there? Is that Gordo I'm here? Yeah, stay in there and finish washing your dirty ass. <laughs> so, you decided to join the party. He's not going, is he? Well, what if I am? I mean, if Gordo got an invite, I'm not so sure I want to go. I mean, what would the people be like? You know, it's funny. I can almost see the duct tape over that filthy mouth. Have you ever been to one of these before, Gordo? Yes. Hundreds. Hmm. Not so sure you have. You can think whatever you want. I don't care. Well then, why don't you take a picture of your body then to see if you're accepted? Charlie, he's not going, okay? No. I'm going, Ben. You are? Yeah. Gordy. It has to be a full body nude pic. Yeah. Full body and nude. Shy? No. Embarrassed of your body? Not at all. Should be. I happen to be very comfortable with my body and my full head of hair. <laughs> <laughs> you want to do it here or somewhere else? Somewhere else, please. No. Right here. Really? You sure? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. I'm sure. Hey, Jason, can you get that, please? Okay. Hey, is anyone else coming? I didn't invite anybody else, did you? No. I'm in. Me either. I'll be right down. H 
melon. Sweetness high. Oh, oh, I just gotta have the shower after a long, non-sexual, productive day. Ben, get the axe. Oh, oh no. Fuck you. Fuck this. Fuck all y'all. Bitch is not gonna go down like that. I don't ask much from you, girl. Why can't you give me the respect that I'm entitled to? Why can't you treat me like I'd be treated by any other drag queen at the club? Honey, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, God damn. So there I was, backstage in all my fierceness, looking utterly immaculate. And the MC says to the audience, please walk on the stage, the fierce Miss Helen Bed. I walk out and Black Velvet is playing. And all of a sudden the audience lines up. And they start to tip me. And before you know it, I have a whole lot of money in my hand. And then out of the corner of my eye, I spot a little twink with a 20. I walk over to him. And I lean down and he whispers something in my ear. Sweet nothings. You love it, don't you? You love it. Hit you. Fuck no, you faggot. He whispers in my ear that my man's going to a sex party tonight. And I think to myself, that is a lie. There's no way that my man would do such a thing to me. He loves me. He would never cheat on me. Especially since I've been taking care of his ass for the last five months. I work. And I work until I'm half dead. And I hear them say, she's getting old. And what do I get? A boyfriend that could care less about me than some sex party. Helen, that is not true. Maybe just a little true. Now he did tell me he was going to a party tonight with his friends. True, he is going to a party. True, he is going with his friends. But I never thought to ask if it was a sex party. It never even crossed my mind. That would mean that Charlie was the king, or should I say the queen of withholding information. And withholding information is the same as lying. So does that make Charlie a liar? Maybe. But I know this town only has room for one queen. And as I was thinking of all this, I realized I was on stage, frozen. The music had stopped. The audience was gawking at me. The DJ comes over and says, Helen, honey, do you need a doctor? And I was frozen, Charlie, just frozen. Me, Helen Bed, the fierce Helen Bed, just frozen on stage and there was a reporter. A reporter, Charlie, you know how important that was to me, I told you. And all I could do was run off the stage. I mean, I ran fabulously dramatic, but still I could do, Charlie, was run. And so here I am and I'm damn mad. Helen, I think you're overreacting. I think you're underreacting, Charlie! Helen, you're right. You figured it out. I was going to a, a, a sex party tonight. I should have been honest with you in the first place and told you the whole truth. Thank you. Thank you for making me see the light that is Helen Ben. Come here, pumpkin matter. Oh! Oh! Helen, you've got to stop oh. this! Ben, please! Please, Ben! You know what, Charlie? If I wasn't a fucking lady, I'd single white female your ass right now! You know, it's pretty fucking pathetic when a boy in a pair of heels, a fabulous frock, and a divine do has bigger balls and is much more of a man than you will ever be. So you just go to your little sex party tonight and fuck all the boys you want. Because I'll tell you what, you will never Find a sweeter piece of ass than mine. Oh, 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 she, she'll take me back. Oh, oh God. God. don't How's the with fuck you? with me, faggots. This ain't my first time at the drag show. I'm not mad at you, Ben. I'm mad at the dirt. Jesus.
Jesus Christ. Yeah. Okay, I'll be there in a second. I'm pouring myself a drink. I'll be in my room. All right. Okay. Pics have been sent. How long before we know? I don't know. The email just said send pictures and then they reply with an invite. Yeah, I'll be right back. My husband's here. Great. Hey, hon. How's the rest of your day? Oh, busy. So what time is your uh, your party? Oh, it's like at 10 or 11, I think. Hmm. Who else going? Um, Charlie's gonna go, Gordy might go, um, Mondo and Mondo's new boyfriend, Jason. You need anything? No, no, I'm fine. Are you hungry? Mm, not really. I might fix something a little later. Oh, by the way, how is that woman's dining room you told me about? <laughs> oh, that's gonna take a lot of work. But we can do it. Uh, no, you can do it. <laughs> so, are they gonna have condoms and lube and supplies at this party or what? Hey, what do you mean by supplies? You know. Like drugs? No. Well, not really a drug. Well, then what? Poppers. You don't do poppers when you have sex? That is so a drug. No, it's not. It's video head cleaner. It's usually found right next to the leather wristbands. It is a drug. I don't think it's a drug. It's sold over the counter. I agree. Oh my god, it gives you a high. It destroys your brain cells just like any other drug. Oh, who needs brain cells anyways? Boys, I brought some. Like five or six bottles. You know what's funny is I didn't pay for one of them. Just random tricks left them over at my house. How much do they cost? Oh, anywhere from about 10 to $50. Just depends on how strong you want them. You guys sound like drug dealers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna Google it. All right, boys, I've got Blue Boy, Pig Sweat, Thrust, Ram, Jungle Juice, Jungle Juice Platinum. Poppers. Poppers are small bottles filled with liquid chemicals called alkyl nitrites. They were used at the turn of the century for people suffering from chest pains. <coughs> chest pains. That's why I use them. It's also why I smoke weed because of my glaucoma. <laughs> Nitrides dilate the blood vessels and allow more blood to enter the heart. They are usually sniffed from the bottle and deliver a short, sharp high. Mm -hmm. Poppers are sold in clubs, sex shops, and gay bars. See? Not a drug. There's more. Hold on. Um, the effects. An initial head rush that lasts a couple of minutes. Uh, no, that's right. Head rush drugs. Sniffing poppers during sex can make orgasms feel like they last longer. Yeah, that's true for me, huh, baby? <laughs> and some people say it makes their sexual organs feel massive. Mm -hmm. May help relax the anal sphincter muscles. Well, there you go, Gordy. Relax those anal sphincter muscles. But there is a flip side. The effects don't last long and can leave people feeling sick, faint, and weak, especially if taking while dancing. See? Some people say they have trouble getting an erection after sniffing poppers. Now I've never had that problem. Poppers can give you headaches. Some people get a rash around their mouth. There you go, Charlie. So it wasn't a cold sore after all. <laughs> Blow me. Poppers aren't physically or psychologically addictive. There you go. See, I know some people who can't have sex without them. Well, Jason, you're being very quiet over there. What do you think? <laughs> I don't know. Mondo likes to do them and we have sex. I don't know if he needs to do them. I don't need to do them. So you do them too? Oh, I didn't before I met Mondo. They're okay. <laughs> I don't know. 
Hey, what I miss? Poppers, drugs or not? Oh, those are totally drugs. I love them. Who has some? Charlie, Charlie does. does. Hey, was that Anderson that came in? Yeah. And? And what? He's cool with me going to the party. Well, does he know what type of party it is? No, but I mean, if you ask me, I'll tell him. No big deal. Hey, what are we waiting on anyway? Uh, the invites. Ben, oh. an email just came in. I'm in. It says they love my pics and that they'll send me the address at about 10 p.m. Oh, that's cool. So nobody answered my question. What are they providing at the party? I don't know. Ask Charlie. She goes to him all the time. Hmm. Well, I'm not too sure about what they're going to have there. Not so sure about the poppers, but I do know that they're going to have lube. I myself am partial to ID. It doesn't matter to me. Me either. Yeah, I don't care what kind of lube they have as long as they have the extra sensitive rubbers because my ass will get really sore. A proud, self-proclaimed bottom. God love it. Hey, I like getting fucked. You know that. What's uh, wrong with it? No, nothing at all. Without bottoms, you sure can't have tops. Yes, and two tops does not a bottom make. Thank you. Mm. Uh. So, Gordo, what are you? No, no, your business. Hmm. Bottom. Think what you want. What are you? Top here. With that swish. Look, bitch. Have I ever been fucked before? Yes. Did I enjoy it? Maybe because the guy that was fucking me was enjoying it. But did I get physical pleasure out of it? No. Could I be versatile? Yes. Would I prefer to? No. Could I ever go for the rest of my life without ever being fucked again? Yes. I consider myself a versatile top. I mean, I like to do both, but I prefer to top. Right, Ben? Mm, not with me, you weren't. Shut up, Charlie. You bottomed for him? <laughs> Hell no. Oh, Mondo, don't lie. We tried it once, but it didn't work. He's, he's kind of big. Still counts as bottoming. Yeah, okay, whatever. You never told me that. Because I didn't count it as bottoming. We stopped in the middle of it because it hurt. It, it doesn't hurt as much with you, baby. Mm, maybe because he's not as big. Shut up, ho. You don't like it when you bottom for me. Yes, I do. I just prefer to top. Didn't know that either. I, I just... I, I mean, I like it that you're the one topping me and I take pleasure in that, but do I think I can't wait for Jason to fuck me? No, not really. I, hey, I'm just being honest here, baby. Okay. Mm. Five months into the relationship and finally the honesty is coming out. So, Gorda, what are you? I'm not saying... Well, I'll find out later tonight anyways. I still say bottom. For your information, I've never bottomed before. What? Yeah, no big deal. Oh, you two have been fucked. Never. I'm not like you, Charlie. I can probably count the guys I've been with in one hand. Oh, well, so can I. For today. So, so Gordy, what, what have you done? Well, one of them, we just kissed. And two of them, we just played around. And two of them, it was actual intercourse, but... I was a top. Oh, and so now he thinks he's a top. I'm not saying that. I think that if I were to get fucked once, I'd probably become a bottom. But I just haven't. I, I don't know. Well, if you are gonna get fucked tonight, do you know the biggest rule in the good bottom etiquette handbook? No, what? Oh, come with me. Ooh, girl, I know that's right. Ain't nothing worse than dating a Dairy Queen. Going in for some ice cream and Pulling out a dip comb. Oh. Disgusting. Well, look, Thank you. Have you ever douched before? Hell no. But when's the last time you took a shit? Well, never. Oh. <laughs> Gordy, it's time you met the booty bear. Ooh, girl. <laughs> <laughs> No new emails. Ooh, how's my face? Uh, well, not too bad. Just stop. Fine. So, how's your cheek? It's okay. So, how are y'all doing? Good. And how did we meet? We met at the gym. Yes. Mondo is cruising me. Actually, you were looking at me. How oh, sweet. Makes me want to vomit. And how long have we been together? What? Five months? Six months, baby. Yeah. Mmm. And already playing around. Mondo not doing it for you? Whatever, Charlie. I'm just kidding. So, have you two ever played around with other guys before? No. 
And this doesn't bother you? No. Baby, he's just trying to make you mad. Mom, do I ever tell you that he and I did a little group thing once? Mondo, you never told me that. Because it was nothing. Oh, come on, Mondo. We had a blast. Okay, not only is Charlie disrespectful, he just wants to start some drama. That's why it didn't work between us. Oh, please. Whatever. It didn't work because I didn't want it to. Actually, my exact words were, you're a drama queen, and we're breaking up, remember? Yeah, you might have said that. I really wasn't listening. And most importantly, I actually love this one. But is the group thing true? Yes. Yes. It is, baby, but I promise it was a disaster. Oh, God. Yes, it was. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? I don't want my shirt to get messy. What? This is the booty bear. It used to be a honey bottle, but not anymore. Now, this little spout on top makes it really easy to insert, and the gentle squirting pressure... Oh, gross. ...makes it really easy to insert while you're doing it yourself. Here. But you want me to use yours? Gross! Is that, is that sanitary? I could probably die from that. Oh, it's clean. I always washed after I use it with bleach even. I mean, who do you think I am, Charlie? I heard that. Hope you did, bitch! Or... Are you serious? Look, trust me, you don't want to have a shitty accident tonight and leave that as your first impression with all these hot guys at the party. Okay. Well, what do I do first? Just take your clothes off and get in the shower. No, don't take it off! Gordon, Rolando, Rafael, De La Garza, Sequentes? The third. Get your ass in the shower right now. And turn around. Why? Because I don't want you to see me naked. I've already seen you naked. Well, I don't want you to see me naked again. Because my breasts. Your bre oh, you don't have breasts. Well, yes, I do. That's general. different. It's, it's not a bad thing. Your titties are okay. I, I didn't say I had titties. Well, no, that, that's fine. Just go ahead. Turn around! Oh my, turn around! He is so cute. Turn around, turn around. No, little tushy. Turn around! Mondo, you remember that one party that you and I went to? Uh, yeah. No, which one? You know, the one where the guys that were boyfriends and they had the sling room upstairs. Oh, shit, don't remind me. What happened? <laughs> tell him. Hell no. Okay, fine, I'll tell him. Now, Mondo and I go to the sex party ride, and there's this one hot, hot Latino there. Yeah, and he turned into a bitter queen because he went for me and not him. Uh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, little fucker. <laughs> anyway, so what's his nuts? Let's call him Paco. Paco and Mondo are getting it on, right? Oh. What do you mean, getting it on? Do you know? We're just playing around, baby. Around. Oh, yeah, whatever, okay. Paco's eating Mondo's ass. <laughs> so, Paco is all up inside of Mondo's ass. Then, Paco starts coughing. <laughs> well, he won't stop coughing. He keeps coughing and starts hacking. He starts having an asthma attack while eating his ass. Mondo jumps up and is like, are you okay? Is everything all right? Did something come out? Oh, my God. He keeps coughing and... <laughs> <laughs> Mondo thought it was his ass. What the hell was I supposed to think? Everybody in the room just froze and started staring at us. <laughs> Nobody would come near Mondo for the rest of the night. <laughs> it didn't help what you did either, bitch. What did you do? This hoe in front of everybody in the entire room stands up and says, That's not the first time he's made someone do that. <laughs> <laughs> and that's Asshole. right, I did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Mondo, we had a good time back then. Yeah, we did. Well, um, speaking of groups, we need condoms. Who's going to go get some? Jason, why don't you go? Huh? I mean, unless you don't want to. No, it's fine. I'll go. Mondo, you coming with me? Actually, baby, I kind of want to stick around here and, you know, catch up with Charlie. Is that okay? I'll come if you want me to. I understand if... You have a problem with Mondo and I being alone together. I mean, look at me. I am hard to resist. <laughs> no, that's okay. I'll go. Uh, what do we need? Uh, I guess a 12-pack should be enough for all of us for tonight, huh? Yeah, sure, whatever. I'll need a pack for myself. Magnums, of course. I'll be right back. Hey, 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 hey. I'll miss you. Bye. 
Anyways. How are you doing in there? Ben, I don't know if I'm doing this right. Do I need to come in there and help you? No! No! Wait, no. You know, maybe a little. What, what, what's the matter? What do you need? Well, hold on. You know, how do I get in the, in the best, you know? What, position? Yeah. Well, how are you right now? Well, I'm bent over with my head between my legs. Yeah. Oh, hold on! You remember when you used to have when we used to have PE together? Uh huh. Yeah. Well, do you remember that exercise? Um, the one called picking cherries. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm like that. Okay. And I'm holding the bottle, and I'm trying to put it in. You know where it needs to be. Oh, Ben, I'm having problems. Oh, okay, stop. Shh. Re relax. Relax. Forget yeah. all that cherry picking shit and just listen. All right. Get on your hands and knees, like your doggy style. Okay. Just get on your hands and knees, okay? Okay. Then, put your, put your chin on your chest, okay. arch your back, and stick yeah. your ass way in the air. Okay. Okay, and then you're going to reach around that way. Try, try that. Okay, then what? Okay, put the bottle in and squeeze it. Put get, put the bottle in your ass and start squeezing yeah, it. I'm confused. Ben. What are you confused about? You put the bear in your ass and you squeeze it accordingly. Hold on, hold on, wait. Okay, I got it. Okay, good. Yeah. Dude, well, how's it feel? Well, good. Now what? Now, how do you feel? You do you feel full? What? Do you feel full? Have you squeezed it a lot? I don't, I don't know. I mean, how much do you squish the bear? Until you're uncomfortable, you just squish it until you. You know. Okay, 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 now what? Okay, now get over the shower head and just... Okay. You Ben. What? Nothing's coming out. I don't know where it went, Ben. I don't know. I'm gonna die. This, this is bad. Gordy? Yeah. Did you put water in the bottle? Well, I was supposed to put water in it. No! What is the matter with you? Stop. I'm tired. Stop! I'm naked. I don't. I've seen your fat oh ass naked. Oh my god! Hey, what's up? Charlie got an email. What you got there? Condoms. Speaking of, have you seen him? Or Mondo? Yeah, I think they're in the other room. They're, they're eating. watching TV. They're, they're watching eating. TV. Shut up. Thanks. Oh, hey, baby. Hey, did, did you get the condoms? Go. Cool. I was just helping Charlie trim his body hair. <laughs> you know how the inside of the crack is the hardest to get. <laughs> Didn't look like trimming to me. What? Uh, oh, the kiss? Oh, please. That was nothing. Hello. I might be sucking his cock in a few hours anyways, along with a few other boys. <laughs> baby, we were just kissing. We're about to go to a sex party. Kissing should be the least of your worries, don't you think? I know. I don't know. I just know. It just feels weird to walk in and see my boyfriend kissing another guy when I'm not around. 
I don't know. Something about that just isn't right. It doesn't feel good. I don't know. Well, I'm gonna be in the other room while you two work out this married folk drama. No, you're staying. Excuse me? Jason, what are you doing? Why do you hate me? I don't hate you. But you sure as hell don't like me. Jason, of course I like you. Then why are you always trying to hurt me? Hurt you? How? You know, your man was kissing on me just as much as I was kissing on him. You need to be having this conversation with him. You're right. But you're first. Why do you deliberately try to make me feel uncomfortable around Mondo? You know, I don't have any idea what you're talking about. Mondo and I happen to have a history together. One that doesn't include you. And if that makes you very uncomfortable and insecure, that's not my problem. That's yours. And if you're going to get so freaky deaky about another man touching yours, then how are you going to be able to handle going to a sex party where there's going to be lots of guys there that are going to be kissing on him and having sex with him? How in the hell are you going to handle that? For whatever reason, Charlie, I think I'd be less uncomfortable with Mondo being with other guys than with him being with you. And why is that? Because they don't have any other agendas besides getting off. And I do. Baby, just calm down, okay? I think you do. And what, might I ask, is that agenda that I have so cleverly and mysteriously concocted? You don't want us to be happy. In fact, I don't think you even want us together. You know, Jason, I don't have to arrange some big, devious, elaborate plot to take your man. I could do it with a snap of my fingers, but I don't want him. I've had him, and I don't want him back. What's going on? No. I didn't say you wanted him. I said you didn't want us together. Explain, please. Because of the fact that you are bitter and hateful by not being with anyone. Oh, come on, Jason. And let's face it, being with Helen wasn't serious in your book, or anyone else's. And it makes you want to see every relationship around you fail. Okay, you know what? Stop. I stop that. Oh, yes, Jason. You're so right. I want a boyfriend so bad so I can have him throw little jealousy tantrums in front of my friends. I want that whole couple drama of phone calls, checking in, the mundane repetition, that same piece of ass every single day, going to work, coming home, eating, television, then going to bed. You're right, Jason. I want that so bad. You do! You do want that, Charlie! All of those things! You want every single one of them! And if you can't have them, you don't want me to either, or anyone else! You know what, Jason? You're really starting to piss me off Guys, right that's now. enough. Mondo, you might want to put your wife back in line before I bitch slap her. Do it! Do it and you'll get your fucking ass kicked! Hey, you know what? what? Stop! I'm not gonna go down without a fight! I'm fucking scared now, You're bitch! You're gonna be scared, bitch! Wait. You are just another fucking homewrecker, Charlie! Stop. Another one of those pathetic motherfuckers who can't do anything but take other people's men because they are so unhappy and alone! And you're just the perfect couple. You think you need me to break you guys up? You're in the HLV lane to break up city, boy. Only six months, and Mondo's already tired of fucking just you. He needs to fuck strange boys just to keep him satisfied. Right, Mondo? I'll be in the other room, boys. Why didn't you say anything? What do you mean? All that stuff he just said. Why didn't you say anything? I don't know. I mean, what was I supposed to say? Is it true? Is what true? What he said about you being tired of me. Baby, of course not. Charlie's just trying to make you upset and get under your skin. Don't let him do that. Why do you want to go? Jason, we've already talked about this. I'm not going to go over it again. Baby, you're just upset because of what happened with Charlie. Don't take that out on me. We've already talked about it. What if I don't want to go? What? I told you. We won't go. I mean, are you changing your mind? We can go tell the guys that we changed our minds and they can go without us. But they won't even miss us. I mean, we haven't even been invited yet anyway. Hey guys, sorry, sorry. Um. 
just want to let you know that we got another email and uh, we're both in. Don't let Charlie ruin our night, okay? I love you. Mondo, I... Come on. Let's go get ready. Hello? What do you want, John? Yeah. I'll, I'll meet with you. I'm at Ben's place. Okay. I'll see you in a few. Bye. Who was that? It was John. So what, he wants to talk? Ben, please, don't say anything. I'm confused enough as it is. Cordy, I've told you, you're wasting your time with him. Look, you're my friend and I can't let you go through that shit with him again. I mean, he's just gonna use you like he always does and then leave you for someone else. I didn't say I was gonna take him back. But you will! And that's my business, Ben. Look, thank you for caring. But I think I'll handle it from here. <laughs>